Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on media looking at ideological factors influencing the news. In this series so far we've looked at some of the practical, organisational and technological factors that influence the selection of the news, in particular news values. In this video we're going to focus on the ideological factors that are involved in the selection and presentation of news. These include cultural and personal biases of those involved in the production of news stories, the role of owners, and interference from governments and other agencies. Firstly, cultural biases. Many critical theorists argue that the media is largely Eurocentric, that is, that it is focused on the culture and events of Western Europe and the United States. As a consequence, they promote interest in events in the Western Hemisphere over other areas of the world, and select news stories that centre on the ideas and culture of Western nations. As we've seen in previous videos, the six largest media groups in the world are based in the Western Hemisphere, and this is reflected in the stories and events that they cover. There is an assumption that audiences want to know what is going on in Western nations, despite the increased diversity of audiences on a global scale. African, South Asian and South American audiences are often left neglected by the coverage from large media companies. Something cultural imperialists would argue is based on transmitting a Western ideology through the media. There are also personal biases in the selection of news, and this includes the focus on reporters and editors on events that fall into their own sphere of interest. Recent research suggests that in the UK, 80% of those working in the media come from professional or upper class backgrounds, which means the story selected for news broadcast and publication often reflects the interest of these classes. Whilst there is some debate over the extent to which this is deliberate, this means that issues that may concern the working class and other marginalised groups, such as poverty, inequality and racism, are rarely addressed through news coverage. Instead, there is an increased focus on the economy and political debate, which appeals to the professional and upper classes. The impact of owners is another ideological factor that influences the selection of news and can influence audience opinion. Marxists argue that the ownership of the media is concentrated into the hands of the elite and that they are able to set the agenda for public discussion through directing their editors to act as gatekeepers to information selecting stories that align with their own, often more conservative, values. This can be evidenced through the impacts of owners such as Rupert Murdoch, whose own political influence is seen as being a deciding factor in British politics over the last 30 years of British general elections. By presenting media stories that skew the perception of the audience into voting for their interests, owners have an ideological influence over the selection of news. A final ideological factor that impacts on the presentation of the news is the role of government and how they intervene in order to get good and bad news stories promoted. Governments in the UK have increasingly been employing press officers or spin doctors to give the media a ready-made narrative that is often uncritically published. Furthermore, governments have increasingly employed the tactic of embedded journalism in recent decades offering access to stories that they want the press to publish in return for favourable coverage in mainstream media. This phenomenon began with the first Gulf War in the early 1990s and has been employed, particularly in times of national crisis, such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the war on terror, showing how government is able to influence the selection and presentation of news. However, the extent to which ideological factors are the most important can be criticised, Pluralists argue that there is a question of journalistic ethics, that journalists abide by codes of impartiality and look to report objectively and truthfully, and their focus is to speak truth to power. Another criticism is offered by the Glasgow University Media Group, who suggest that owners are rarely involved in the day-to-day -day running of the media sources they own, and that any bias is unconscious on the part of the middle and upper class journalists. Finally, it can be argued that many media sources exist that objectively and critically analyse the news that is presented and offer alternative views of events. This is increased in the digital age, and whilst mainstream media can be argued to be ideological driven, others look to question these ideologies. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on media looking at ideological factors influencing the news. Thanks for watching.